Hi, this is Peter again. Wanted to create another short video, hopefully it'll be short, to uh, talk about profiles and uh, how you use them and why you would use them. Basically what profiles are is a way of adjusting all of your different settings in AVX or EVA all at one time. So you might have a profile for home and one for work and one for in the car and one for at night, um, one for if you have Bluetooth on and so just switching between them all of the different settings that you want specific to that um, condition would be all automatically changed at once. So let me show you um, the default profiles here. Yes, Peter. Display my profiles. Your profiles are displayed. So you see these are the default ones and you can't delete any of these but you can add your own custom ones if you want. Um, these ones will do most of what you want, um, but you know, always someone always asks for a custom something, that's why I added in that you can create your own. So the first one here is basically your fallback one, so if you don't define any specific settings for any of the other ones, it will automatically use the one, the setting for the default one. And then you've got home, work, car, night, Bluetooth, power connected. Now out of those, um, normally you would have to manually turn them on, um, but a couple of them here, the car mode, that will automatically get switched to that profile when you turn on car mode and the Bluetooth one will automatically get switched to that when you um, not only turn on Bluetooth but when you your Bluetooth headset um, or device gets connected and then the power connected one obviously when you plug your power in it will turn that profile on. So let's see uh, what I want to show you first as we go into the settings here Actually, before I show you that, up the top here you see I added uh, three new custom buttons here. And right now they're defined to switching to those profiles. And I think by default it was, the first one is default, the second one is home, and the third one is work. And I actually changed that one to night. But you can just long press on any of those. And you can not only change it to activating a profile, but you can change that button to do anything that you want. Um, like I've got the one down the bottom there, is gives me the temperature outside. Um, so anyway, you can change it to a different profile or, or whatever you wanted to do. Uh, to change it to. So if we open up the settings here. Your settings are displayed. Tap on any setting to toggle through the available options. You'll see at the top here there's a new thing that says use profiles. Yes, if you don't want to use profiles at all just turn that off to no and you'll never have it automatically switch profiles or anything like that. It'll just be the way it was prior to this um, functionality. And then the next thing is the active profile and, and we can tap on that and change profiles here and then it'll automatically refresh the settings and we can go and, and change the settings there. And then the last one here that's new is the uh, profile announcements. If you turn that on, it'll actually give you a verbal announcement that it's changed the profile any time that it gets switched over. Okay, so let's say, for example, um, I want to switch over to my home profile here. Please select the profile you would like to work. Your settings are displayed. Tap on any setting to toggle through the available options. And you notice on this profile I've got the font size is one bigger, so it's 11. I've got the text is white, so it looks a little bit different. Um, but you could do anything that's in the settings here, pretty much anything in the settings here can be adjusted per the profile. So if I wanted to make it you know, vibrate only, I could put silent mode on, I could turn the Wi-Fi off, the GPS on, shake activation, I mean, you name it anything and any, everything in here you can change it. You could even have it so it changes the voice um, and you'll see actually, well I won't show you but I've got this one in, when you switch to car mode it changes to the uh, English uh, United Kingdom voice so you get the British accent when you're in the car and the American accent when, uh, when you're not so it's kind of neat. And the other thing you can do here obviously you can change all your text message settings here to whatever you want um, depending on what profile you have active but you can also go into your email accounts and the following accounts are configured. Specific to each account. The details account. for this account are displayed. Tap on an item to change it. You'll see here italic values are profile dependent. So down here you've got how to handle incoming um, messages, uh, where the contact is required, and you know all those settings. Whether you're actually reading those messages for that particular account, you can change those per the profile that's active. And like I was saying before, if you wanted to switch in the middle of this. Please select the profile you would like. The details for this account are displayed. You don't have to keep Tap going back out to the to profile screen to check it. You can change it directly from here. Okay? So that that basically shows you now you can change your settings and your email settings based upon 
any particular profile. Okay, so next thing you might want to look at is um, let me show you this. Yes, Peter. Display my profile commands. Your commands for the active profile are displayed. Tap on a command to remove it. Okay, so what this function gives you is that after it's switched over to a different profile, you can have it automatically run a command. And you'll see if I switch to my home profile. Please select the profile you would like. Your commands for the active profile are displayed. I've already, Tap on a command to remove it. I've already set up a couple here. I've made it go out and say what's the temperature and what's the wind. So when I go and change from any other profile over to the home profile, it'll switch the profile settings over and then it'll run those two commands. And I'll, let me just give an example. So if I switch, sorry, if I switch back to... Uh, Please select the profile you... Default. Your commands for the active profile are displayed. Now if, I use, if I use my little function button here and I switch to home profile. current temp in Clinton is 70 degrees. The current wind in Clinton is from the east-southeast at 7. There, so you can see it activated the profile and then it ran the two different commands that I had set up and then basically that's the change of the profile. Okay, so you could assign any command to that if you wanted to. Um, just, I don't know, there's all sorts of things that you can make it do. Maybe you wanted it to read the temperature when you when you got in the car and plug it in the dock, it would automatically read out the temperature. Okay, so the next thing that you might want to do is um, obviously you've got those come up, those buttons there that you can change the profile, but you might want to have it automatically do it. So then you could use a time-based uh, action or a location-based action, and you would say something like. Um, at 11 p.m. activate night profile or you might say when you're going to the office you know when I get to work activate work profile and it'll switch those profiles automatically based upon either that time based action or the location based action so that gives you you know a lot of flexibility so you could have it I mean it, it's amazing all the different things that you could change in here now just automatically switching over um, it's going to give you a, a ton of flexibility. Alright, so hopefully uh, you get a lot of use out of that and it just makes your life a lot easier and um, you get a little bit more enjoyment out of using this system without being frustrated having to change your settings and stuff all the time. Alright, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks.